5 Things You Didn't Know About, Jeff Kananga. Hello champions, welcome to another original video presented by Jeskod Studios. Here is one of the most influential people in Kenya and beyond. He is a journalist, a talk show host, Emmy Award winner, an author, husband and father. Today, we take you through 5 things you didn't know about Jeff Kananga. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Jeskod Studios. Number 1. Kananga Street was named after his grandfather Kananga Wambiu. Well, most of us know that the Kananga family has been so influential, especially in the development and prosperity of this country. His grandfather, Kananga Wambiu, was one of the architects of an independent and free Kenya to an extent, he was honored by naming one of the uptown streets in Nairobi, Kananga Street. On the upside, I know we all have heard one or two things about this famous street in Nairobi. Number 2. His father, Frederick Kananga, owned the first diesel station in the country. After being detained for seven years during the state of emergency that was declared in 1952, Frederick saw the need to open up a petrol station after a petroleum crisis. During this time, the petrol stations that called the shots in the nation were SO, BP and Mobile. Kenyans were then informed that they will bear the cost of higher fuel prices if an energy tribunal allowed oil marketers to get compensation for a 5 billion loss that they claimed to have suffered following the closure of Kenya petroleum refineries in Mombasa. This inspired Jeff Kananga's old man to open up the petrol station at the age of 41 in Kariako area in 1966. This was the same year he died. Number 3. His uncle was among the first Kenyans to attain higher education in the university. Jeff's grandfather, Kananga Wambiu, was an illiterate man, but with a clear vision, in fact, the first teacher's college in Kenya was erected on his premise. He therefore had an understanding of the importance of education and therefore sponsored his son Biu Kananga to study in the United States, where he joined the Virginia Hampton Institute in 1927. Biu Kananga became one of the first Kenyans four years down the line to graduate with a bachelor's degree and then later, a master's degree. Number 4. He worked for CNN. From 2001 to 2007, Jeff covered many significant stories while working for CNN. He preferred to cover the African stories because he believes that no one can tell the African stories like the Africans. Jeff covered the crisis in Darfur, the civil wars in Liberia and Sierra Leone, and also the famine in Niger, for which he won an Emmy Award. Apart from the stories, he voiced the three famous words This is CNN, which is now voiced by James Earl Jones. Number 5. He has tied the knot two times. His current wife, Shyla Kananga, has been married to Jeff since 1994. She is a Kenyan but with Asian roots. They met back in 1986 during the Pan Am airline interview where they both were interviewed for the position of a flight crew. They got the job and worked together. However, before Jeff married Shyla, he married Sonia in 1988, and after a divorce, he moved on and married Shyla in 1994, just two years after his divorce. On the other side, some have it that they got married in 1998. Well, champions, as a plus for sticking around to the end, here is the champion's bonus point. He is the youngest member of the boys' club. This is a club that came to the limelight after the passing on of Safaricom's CEO Bob Collymore, who was the chair of this club. They met every Tuesday at Bob's residence and had a boys' time together. It is a club that consists of Peter Kenneth who is a politician and businessman, Joshua Gara, who is the CEO of KCB Group, Barrett Thacker, who is the CEO of Scan Group, Laman Manjwang, the MD of the Standard Chartered Bank, Lagos, Jeff Kananga, and the late Bob Collymore. Thank you for watching, feel free to comment on the comment section below, and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Jeskod Studios.